Hey guys, I'm Professional Bohemian. I'm an illustrator, oil painter, and Twitch streamer. You're about to watch a section of one of my streams where I create this image right here. Um, do stick around, watch um, subsequent videos, or navigate through the channel and see if there's anything else you like. Drop a subscribe, like, comment, um, check out my work on Instagram, and join me live on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian with me and my community and have some fun. Enjoy the video, guys. How's it going? Yeah, we're, in, we're living in luxury right now, guys. I get to sit down and paint a little while. What's up? What's up, Sasha? Crafting is what calms you down the most. That's good, man. I had a bit of an accident with my soundboard the other day, so everything's a little bit screwed up. Can you hear okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, well, how's it going, guys? It's 2.40 a.m. there. Oh, my God. So you're a wild woman. I don't know how you do it. Um, no more talk for me. Let's talk it more painty. This is where we left off yesterday. I'm going to give you a bit of a... More of a bird's eye, kind of well-rounded view of this. That is dedication. It's a definition of dedication. Let me just fix the camera view. What's up, my friends? Okay, so what we're going to do today, we're going to hopefully do the um, uh, the eyelid area and then the eyebrows. And then hopefully we'll have enough time to paint the whole background white in preparation for the next stream where we do the hair. Oh my gods. And, um, and if we manage to fill that brief, what does that mean? What does that mean to you and I? Well, let me tell you, friends. It means we've done another 15-hour portrait. <laughs> well, let's see. Like, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because it could be... I don't know that's supposed to be pointed there. There we go. It could be that we, um, we do an extra stream on Saturday or Friday. I haven't decided yet. Or maybe Sunday. So if we have anything extra to pick up, we'll do it then. If not, um, uh, one of those days we'll um, we'll start another painting or we'll um, uh, we'll do another illustration. I know what we're doing. I may not have let you into the secret, but that doesn't mean that I don't know, my friends. <laughs> Woof. I'm a tired puppet today, let me tell you guys. So, um, if you're there, if you're out in the chat, do say what's up, just so I can say hello before I get dragged into this painting and I uh, can no longer um, chat as freely as I am doing right now. Big love to Sasha, who was also there in the lunchtime show today. What's up? If you don't know what the lunchtime show is, tch, where have you been? Where have you been? That's my radio show. That I do on Vaughn Radio daily. What's up, Don Ray? Keep turning her upside down and check it out. <laughs> but if you see it, turn it upside down. You're not actually getting a, a proper view of Lady Bo's face. There are certain things. Oh, well, let's go chat stream a second. The eye, the, the cheek, the skin around the cheeks, when you're upside down, pushes up. Okay. And a flushed face leads to a redder, plumper nose. Also plumper ears. Little known fact, but true story. You're not actually, if you turn it upside down, you're not actually getting a good view of what she actually looks like. <laughs> but Ladybug did tell me, oh my God, those are my eyes. So I'm doing a good job. <laughs> okay. I know this ca this ca camera here is a little dark. Let me try and fix that. I do fix it all the time, but then it tends to just drop back into its default crap mode. There we go. All right. 
Don't we? Yeah. So, what's up, guys? He talks so much, he misses what's said in chat. What did, what did I miss? What did I miss? I literally set an alarm at 2am just to be here. I should get a special command for that shit. Oh, you really should, dude. You really should. I appreciate, we appreciate that, that you make an effort to be here. I may not show it, but I do super appreciate it, Sasha. You know I do. Okay, let's um, let's do this. We're gonna mix up a, a light flesh tone. I have a little bit, yeah. Remember I mixed up a ton of flesh tone right here. I'm still using that mix. I may throw a little bit of extra white in there. I've got darkish brown there. We're firing on all four, guys. This is gonna be a productive stream tonight. It has to be. I need, we need to get the background and eyelids done tonight. We need to do it, stay, to stay in the brief. I don't mind finishing it off on the extra stream, but I'd rather our extra stream be something extra. And what's up if you've never been here before, I'm a professional bohemian. I'm an illustrator, an oil painter, And it's awfully nice that he decided of all the things that he could have been doing this Thursday, he decided to be here with me, and that's awesome, man. Good for you. You're all awesome humans. So, give you a little insight as to my process, right? I have um, two variations of every... Uh, what's up, JDW? I love to hear him say your name, Sasha. <laughs> You do show it. You pick on me every chance you get. But yes, I know you appreciate it. You're very welcome, dude. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember now. It must have been bullshit. I could try and make him say it more for you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how good this is going to be because I'm going to be picking this palette up. So we're going to go for this kind of a view today on the extra cam. This weird trapezoidal face. It's all good. Okay. Say my name just for Donway. Sasha. <laughs> that sounded a little weird. <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean it to come out that creepy the first time. Sorry, my bad. It was a good lunchtime show today, man. Because I took Monday off. I felt refreshed and recharged for the lunchtime show today. If you're in there, we, we spoke about... Um, what the hell did we speak about? Well, another second subject that we spoke about, because it was funny. If if you took over the world by force, what would be the first thing you would do? The by force thing is very important because I don't want any nego uh, the, like the the th idea was I don't want anyone to be like I would negotiate with foreign government. There are no foreign governments. It's you and you alone. Okay. Did you hear the show, Lady Boy? You did, right? Not completely. Just a part of it. Sorry, there's some weird buzzing coming. We had a bit of an accident with the sound thing. I broke it. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that works. Um, are we doing JDW? The, 
Yeah, we are, we are still clip of the week is on for this week. No one has yet left a submission. Not even you, Lady Boy. That's a surprise. Usually thirsty for those extra points. Five thousand points for clip of the week this week. I'm good. Say something funny then, monkey boy. Claro. <laughs> oh my, some kind of fucking performing monkey. Yeah, the, the funny has to land on me. Like, I, I, I basically... The way I think of jokes is the way Scottish people reproduce. I just get... I just lie down and wait for pollen to fall on me, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? There's no effort involved. You have to wait until inspiration hits my dudes. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> so we took the dog round to my um, to my best friend's house, and we played Risk. I'm not gonna double down on how competitive Lady Bo is. I'm not gonna do that, sweetheart. We've we've spoken about this already. Yeah, yes, I did yesterday. Well, I can't hear you at all. I don't know why, but I just can't hear you at all. Oh. Talk a second. Hola, hola. Probando, probando. And again, Billy, sorry. Hola, hola, hola. Bueno, a little bit better now. Um, yeah. Super, super, super competitive. So I was, she was listening to a, what? Nothing. No, tell me. No, no, que tenía algo en la garganta. Are you sure? Because it sounded like when it says something. <laughs> no. We can hear her. Nothing wrong with being competitive. I am too. We are better. Thank you, James. <laughs> dude. Dude. I mean, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? I'm not going to tell this story because, you know, I have, I am obviously deeply, passionately in love with my lady, but... So there's no way I'm going to be like, oh, she was super aggressive and, and crappy with me in the car on the way back. Because I wasn't? No, because you weren't. No. In the slightest. And today, upon listening to the, the lunchtime show, my radio show, where we were talking about the game, when I got back, she in no way was still talking about how she lost the game of Risk. <laughs> oh, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie pie. She's got her hand clenched in her fist right now. I'm gonna shut my mouth before that fist ends up in my ass. <laughs> Would you say, Lady Bo, that you are um, uh, you are more competitive than I am? No, you are competitive. But see, I'm only competitive under one condition when I'm losing. Hmm. The rest of the time, I'm super, super not competitive. Give him a smack. You're going to wake up with a horse's head in your bed. I will. <laughs> well, we share a bed, so I'm not sure how far that will go, to be honest. <laughs> Acabo de leer lo de James. <laughs> <laughs> You won't be sharing a bed at this rate, no, no. Won't be the first time I slept on the sofa, let me tell you. Yeah, because you want to. <laughs> the sofa is your kingdom. <laughs> this room, I'll, eventually I'll just have a little sleeping bag in my studio. Okay. The lighting is really odd on the face because the face is turned upside down, so areas that are brightly lit 
work deep, work in contrast to where your brain would tell you shadows need to be. For example, right underneath the, the brow line, it's quite well lit. It's screwing my head a little bit, I'll be honest. So yeah, so we went, anyway, I was telling the story. We went to um, my friend's house to, um, to play Risk. We went to our, my friend's house to argue, basically. <laughs> Between the four of us, and we're all close. <laughs> and, and Ringo, Ringo the Dingo, peed twice on the floor. So we are looking for advice on how to flaming house train this dog. Because he's just not, it's just, he's not having it. And now we're at the point where we're thinking that he's not like, you need to put a doggy nappy on him. Dude, no, no shit. What's up, Agus? How are you doing, my dude? Like, we're at the point now where we're thinking it's not, he's not doing it because he needs to go out. He's doing it because he's got the shits that we're not paying attention to him. I think so. Right, Lady Mo? Hmm. Oh, you were playing Risk? Oh, well, wouldn't it be a shame if someone just took a piss on the floor under the table? That would be a shame, wouldn't it? You would pay attention to me, well. All right, that's fine. Would really be spoiling the little party, wouldn't it, if the just took a pee down here? Twice, dude. The first time I did it, I took him out for a pee. I thought, all right, let's let's get preemptive here. So I took him for like this 15-minute walk in the park. He had a pee. Everyone was happy. Played with him a little bit. Went back up. To be fair, we were playing a long time, right? What time do you reckon we got finished? Until 11 o'clock? Yeah, we would, and we got there at like 2, right? Hmm. At 2 o'clock. I don't know, dude. This dog's un, uh, untrainable. I thought we were getting him, getting, getting him fixed would help. Yeah, we chopped the wrong fucking organ off. We should have let him keep the balls and chopped off the sausage, if you know what I mean. Or had him tie it in a knot or something. Like, I, I don't care. I'd rather have a dog with a colostomy bag than a dog that pisses everywhere. Oh, what is he doing? No, maybe we could tell people he had cancer and start a fund. Yeah, he had dick cancer. It was, it was tragic. <laughs> if you turn the painting upside down, it makes her look like she's amazed at the mar at her margin of her. <laughs> Yeah, getting him fixed would help, and legit doggy nappies would help. Dude, did, uh, doggy nappies a thing? Uh, is that a thing? Lidbrook, can you search doggy nappies? A uh, doggy nappies a thing. See, because now I envision a world where I'm walking a dog that is wearing nappies. And I just want to punch myself in the face. Do you know what I mean? It's like those, those dog owners that push the dogs around in prams. Is that a thing where you're from? Or do I only see that here in Spain? Hey, look at you, you made it to the midpoint in the video. Good for you. Um, at this point, I'm gonna remind you, you should probably subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so, or jump into twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian and join me on my next stream. On with the show. Like a dog prams a thing in other countries. Sasha's saying yes, they are, but I think that's in relation to dog nappies. It's not just Australia. Oh. Con is here, guys. Did you see it? Yes. Did you see the boss is here thing? Mm-hmm. That's what you get. The boss is here, guys. The boss is here. The boss is entering. For how long he remains a boss? Well, it depends. Next person to get up to 300,000 will become the new boss. I gave my friend 10 puns, hoping that one, um, one of them would make him laugh. Sadly, no pun intended. No pun intended. Oh. 
Probos get rich quick scheme. Ah, dude, yeah, the dog cancer. It's a winner. Um, no, please, I don't, are people that push dogs in prams a thing in other countries? I need to know. Or maybe they aren't. Maybe it's just here in Spain. Nappies. No, dogs who get pushed in prams. And carritos. Yeah. Yes, it's a thing. Oh, God, I've never seen it. Somewhere, okay, hot take. Somewhere way back in history is one particularly Randy Wolf, right? A Randy Wolf who would be the progenitor of modern household dogs. If he could look forward in time and see his ancestors being pushed around in, pla in prams, he would have committed suicide. Do you know what I mean? And we'd have pet fucking lizards. What are people doing pushing around dogs in prams? That goes against the natural order of things, man. I want to sound like some, like, fucking square. I mean, I get it with babies. Dogs have four fucking legs, for fuck's sake. I've only seen that twice in my life really hmm. oh, i've seen it a ton in the old barrio there was a lady a little old lady who um who had like a probably a yorkshire terrier i hate to stereotype but if there's any bulldogs out there you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. any lab labradors out there i got you bro <laughs> probably a fucking yorkshire terrier <laughs> and I only know it's a Yorkshire Terrier through the fucking high-pitched sound of the bark. It was like she was just pushing around a pram full of noise. You know what I mean? It was just the most fucking aggressively shitty thing I've ever seen in my life. Dogs double, hashtag dogs double belong in prams. Okay, let me revise that. Outside of the movie Zootopia, dogs do not belong in prams. I have a reborn baby before lockdown. I pushed around in a pram, but I, well, I mean, you know what I mean? At least one of those babies can't walk. Do you know what I mean? Mind you, I suppose if I had a Yorkshire Terrier, I'd want to push it around in a pram as well. I don't want anyone to see me walking it down the street. I got your Labrador's. I got your English sheepdogs. Um, before lockdown, uh, I have him for therapy reasons. People can't see him in the cap in the capsule, so for all they know, he's real. What well, day go? I don't know. This is a thing that I just don't get. I respect it, like. A good friend of mine has a pram for her dog. Crystal. She has a pram for Jasmine. I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's real. That's That happens. Like, I get it. I respect it. Like, close friend of mine has a pram for a dog. Why? Okay. Um, um, what's the reason? What is the reason? I've never gotten into it with her because I know I'll, I'll, I'll get sarcastic and she'll hate me. <laughs> So I lose most of my friends by being honest with them. <laughs> you know. You know. Oh, but why? Dogs like to to walk. Yeah, I know. And smell things. No pueden uh, in a pram. Next time you see um, a dog owner pushing a pram, walk up to the pram, lift up the thing and say, oh my God, he looks just like you and see what they say. <laughs> 
Um, uh, maybe people get prams for their dogs if they're small for safety reasons, so big dogs don't rip them to shreds. Sasha, there's a name for that. Darwin. <laughs> What's that? Darwin. He's the ah, father of... Yeah, Darwin. Yeah. He's the father of evol evolutionary theory. Hmm. Dude. Is that a common occurrence? I feel like that's the kind of thing we hear about, but never actually really happens. Do you know what I mean? Like, someone putting razor blades in Halloween candy. I think that's the thing that everyone says, but has never actually happened. Has anyone in the stream right now ever heard of a case of a small dog being ripped apart by a big dog, apropos of nothing? Unless it's a Yorkshire Terrier. I, I got you border collies. I got you. Um, maybe, oh yeah. But you know what I mean? Like a modern myth. Sasha, do, do you still have the um, reborn baby? Because I want to see it. I've seen a, 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 a mutual friend of ours, Retroactive Bex, actually makes them. Well, not makes the thing, but she paints them to look realistic. I see. Really, really cool. Smaller dogs frequently get hurt, attacked here in Australia. Yeah, but this is Australia. They get hurt and attacked by fucking nature, right? Like sharks and shit. In Australia, don't you have like sharks like walking around in gangs? Or am I thinking of... A Pixar movie. <laughs> like Black Widow spiders and and kangaroos with guns. Hang on, yeah, I still have him. His name is Grayson. Bex makes them. Yeah, I will send you a photo. Give me a sec. I want to see him. I, ri I said rip to shreds. To give it some oomph. It did give it some oomph. It did. Mission mission successful. I just question how real it is because I don't know. It's something that I've heard mul multiple times. I know it's for the protection because there's some bad dogs out there. You know what I mean? You turn your dog into a geek. Nothing, there's, not, there's not anything wrong with a geek. I myself pride myself on my my geeky leanings. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I don't know the difference between geek and a nerd. Yeah, if it's said so. Loud. I'm not sure. I don't trust enough in Fitz's knowledge of geekery to believe his definition. No, no, he said the same. Ah, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know the difference between a geek and a nerd. He but there's certainly a type of kid that gets picked on at school. And, you know, if it was being put... The dog years, right? <laughs> there are seven years to every dog year. If you're pushing around your two-year-old dog, you're essentially pushing around a 17-year-old. If you're a 17-year-old kid being pushed around in a pram, expect to get bullied. I understand I'm not making any friends here. <laughs> I'm just screwing with you all. I'm trying to get a rise out of you. I'm trying to keep the chat active. <gasps> What's up, El Cerajero? What's happened? He looks so real. Let me see. Does look super real, man. How you doing, Sarajero? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know. I guess some people might do it for therapy reasons if it's a support dog. I don't know. Really, I'm quite understanding about this kind of thing, but I need to keep I need to keep you guys on your toes. Yeah, on your toes. Rob. What? Yeah, yeah. It looks super real.
My Yorkie is not listening. <laughs> yeah, my mum used to have a Yorkie as well. I don't hate Yorkshire, Yorkshire Terriers. I'm actually from Yorkshire. I'm allowed to diss them. There are dogs. Just don't call me Baldy, okay? That's our word. We're taking it back. I just arrived from work with a big steak to grill, dude. Nice. He's a reborn, more pricey than a typical reborn. He's a real born, more pricey than a typical reborn. What's your what's your Yorkie's name? Don Ray. My mum's Yorkie was called um, was called Dino. These dolls that Bex did is realistic. Yeah, dude, super. Cost me a pretty penny that I haven't spent money on myself in over a year, dude. Yeah, Ladybo and I need a new computer and... Junior, nice. Dude, there's a, there's a, um, uh, there's a little chihuahua in the barrio where we live, in my neighborhood, called, what's he called? Kile. Kile. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of that. Big fan of a, a, a tiny little chihuahua called Killer. Yeah, he also weighs the same as a newborn, dude. Paul Bex, I think, stopped me doing the reborn dolls on a stream. Because there's a part of it where you need to do the hair. Mm. So essentially you've got this little baby head in your hand and you're sticking. <laughs> and apparently she got so much Someone. she got so much grief for it. So many people like, ooh, that she just stopped doing the dolls. And it's a shame because they were amazing, mm. like amazing artwork and amazing talent she had for that. Just open up the piggy bank with all the money you save by not going to the barber shop. Ba -dunch. What does that mean? 